Steve Kim for UCN Live here with middleweight champion Gennady Golovkin. Gennady, I asked you this during the press conference a couple of months ago. Dominic Wade, what do you know about him now? Back then you said you didn't know much. Have you watched any videos? I don't know a lot. I don't know a lot. You know. First of all, he's a very important fight for me because every fight right now is very mm -hmm. important. He's a off tall challenger. He's undefeated. He's a good prospect. Mm -hmm. you know, he's not, I don't know, I understand. He's not easy fight for me. I'm ready to anybody. You know, mm -hmm. I'm very serious. My focus right now for um, Dominic Wade, I'm ready for everybody. What has Abel told you about Dominic Wade? How does he describe him? He said he's not a real goal kid. You know, look, he said, Abel said, you know, remember your position like a long time ago, maybe five years ago. Right now, Dominic Wade is in position. You mm -hmm. know, he's hungry, he's young. He has, I understand it's good money, good business for him, mm -hmm. and good chance. Gennady, have you been able to focus and be as motivated as you were for, let's say, the David Lemieux fight, which was a unification bout? Yes, of course, yeah. You know, just every fight is very important for me. Mm -hmm. you know, I hope this is my first step, and my second step is much bigger. I want unification fight, maybe Sanders or Mm -hmm. Of course, Canelo. Mm -hmm. A lot of situations going on here. If you and Canelo win your next fight, the WBC is going to make him fight you or give up his belt. Yeah. Um, if he decides to give up the belt, do you feel as though the Canelo fight might happen next year? Probably, yeah. I want. I want Canelo, you know, because Canelo, he's a great champion. He has good name for me, good business, and for everybody, just for fans, you know. I never... I never feel, never try, good name, I never just sparring, you know, just, I want big name, mm -hmm. just, because everybody understand why. Are you still at the point that Dominic Wade, to you it doesn't matter the name, because you have to keep winning? Absolutely, absolutely, you know, I know my job, I know my work, this is my business, this is my way. Mm -hmm. Are you having as much fun with boxing as you were, let's say, three, four years ago? Things are different, you are now a franchise, you are now big business, you're not just this unknown fighter. You are now one of the most well-known fighters in the United States. Has that changed your perspective at all on boxing? Yeah, absolutely changed, you know. But now I'm more serious, more older, you know. Right now I understand boxing. I like old school, you know, like old school. Who is number one, who is mm -hmm. best in the world? This is my first. You now I understand, like, everybody wants business. Why not, you know? Gennady, I have a question. Canelo keeps saying that we will not fight at anything above 155. Um, what are your thoughts on that? And if you had to, could you make 155? Yes, you know, my weight is not heavy. I'm not heavy. I'm 164, 165 every day. You know, I know middle weight 160. It doesn't matter. Canelo, if you want 155, try it. I'm mm -hmm. 160. Mm -hmm. Gennady, I know you had a late start to the year because of the WBC situation with Canelo. This is your first fight on April 23rd. Is it your goal to fight two more times in 2016 after the Dominic Wade fight? No, just uh, I'll wait Canelo fight. We can. Mm -hmm. After Canelo fight, you know, I have just two weeks. Mm -hmm. and WBC says, okay, let's take your time. So I'm not stopping. I have a couple of plans for next fight, you know, for unification. Mm -hmm. I want three, four times for you. Three, four times. Yeah. All right, well, April 23rd, it all begins. Gennady Golovkin, the middleweight champion of the world. Steve Kim for UCN Live.